Yeti's Yeti's going to join us, and then Rai's also going to join us. Um, everybody's just going to be late. Okay. When are they joining us? Huh? When are they coming? Uh, Yeti's on his way right now. Rai, uh, I'm not sure. He'll be here. Okay, we're live, though. What up? I got to get a screwdriver. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, we go fucking live, and he doesn't, you know, he's not prepared whatsoever. I didn't have to go far. Quit your bitching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Prepared. Hey, everybody. This is Paul. Welcome back to Overdose Vapes. Uh, tonight on the show, we've got Travis, who's not prepared, and the wonderful and lovely Panda Vapes. Uh, we also have the illustrious and elusive Yeti joining us very soon, and our good friend, the one, the only, the little heart vapor eye. So there, yes. there's your intro. There's your intro, Travis. <laughs> That's how it's done, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, so welcome back to Overdose Vapes. Um, we got a uh, cast and crew of Jokers in the chat already. <laughs> um, I have it pulled up somewhere. Let me check it out here. Who do we got? Okay, so... We got uh, Zach Johnson, Billy Vapeshard, David Settles, uh, Pete Goodwin. What's up, Pete? Daytime Frank's Reviews. Frank, what up? Logger Fanny, a.k.a. Twat. I think we both know. I think we all three of us know who that is. You dirty boy. Dirty little boy. Dirty little boy. <laughs> so he said, hi, Paul. Love you. <laughs> Love you, Twat. <laughs> That white guy, eighty. I love that twat. I love that twat. Juan Castillo, what's up, Juan? Got your pictures? Oh, Yeti's here. We gotta let him in. Oh no! Bing boom! Bing bong! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> he always comes on with this look, like like. Oh. <laughs> like. You mean the only you look mean I boy? Have. I know. <laughs> I got a mean fart brewing and I can't unmute my mic. <laughs> Hobag's here. What up, Hobag? What up, Hobag? Beauty in the vape. Hobag. What's up, Christine? Christine, what's happening? Uh, Tony As Asuncow. That white guy. What's up? Ding dong. Okay. What up, everybody? All right. Okay, yeah. So um, I'm really fucking super jealous because you guys got a couple of fucking conventions coming up pretty soon in your area uh, next month in April. I think is Detroit. You guys, who's going to that? You going to that, Yeti? Yeah. Uh, not in my. It's not anywhere near my area. No, but... I know, but you're gonna go to it though. It's closer to you than it is to me. So. Yeah, probably. And yes, I did get everybody's pictures, including AEVs. Taking a voop. What up, dog? Smoke 42 vape. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm super jealous. I really want to go to Detroit. That's like the one that I want to go to more than any of the other ones. Just because, I, first off, I want to go to Detroit and see what it's like to see a city um, that's basically on, like, the brink of collapse at all times. Um, actually, yeah. da downtown is actually really nice. Yeah, that's what, that's what I get to. That's what you guys were saying last time, yeah. Yeah, it's, no, downtown, it's a downtown, hell of a downtown lot greater than Oklahoma City. You start to get out like a half mile outside of downtown is when you're... I used to have some buddies, when I, when I was growing up, I, I used to do graffiti, and like uh, we used to communicate with a lot of people from back in the East Coast. We would exchange pictures of trains and all that stuff that we had painted. And I knew a couple guys from Detroit, and some of the pictures that they would send of like just ruined cityscape was just like... It was, like, fucking amazing. It was, like, after a nuclear war. They'd be in these abandoned <laughs> buildings and shit. And it was just, like, man, I was always wanted to go there so bad just to fucking play around. But, uh, yeah, it's changing a lot. I think um, that's kind of how it is across, you know, the whole country. You know, New York used to be, like, this wasteland. And then uh, yeah. big corporations kind of step in and um, make it into a, an amusement park. So, all right. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, guys, a few things. I actually wrote down some notes, some show notes. Um this I wrote the show notes because it was things that I was like thinking about, but then I'm looking at the panel and it's like the absolute worst panel to talk about the things that I wrote down, <laughs> um, like nicotine salts, single coil fucking RDAs and no. pod systems. So. That's I, I'm done for fucking talking about all that. All right. In all honesty, I mean, I I I'd, I'd rather see um, 
you know, some better, more lower level Nick salts out there than, you know, the, the 50 milligram pod systems that are typically, sold, you know, all right, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. We're not there yet. Settle down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hold on. This fucking chair sucks. Let me steal Pam's chair. We were watching some, um, like, Oh yeah. Um, in the future movie, and they were vaping. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? Oh, it was uh, the new Blade Runner movie. Yeah, that shit was the bomb. And they were fucking vaping and shit, and I'm like, oh, they're finally catching on. Yep. Wow, uh, Christine's computer took shit on her. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Pete Goodwin, Paul can talk about all that for hours. <laughs> they got your number, Paul. No, 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 no. Good, good one knows me too, a little too well, and it's kind of fucking scary. <laughs> Tommy Vapors, what up, Tommy? What up, Tommy? And Anthony, fuck yeah, vape. Got the best name in the business. Um, yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck. vape. So um, I want to talk. I want to know what everybody's been vaping. I will start because I have some a uh, couple things that I was uh, really enjoying the last couple days, and some things that uh, are not that great. Don't yeah. skip me this time. I won't skip you. Uh, so, uh, what have I been enjoying? Um, of course, I, I'm such a sellout. I'm such like a mainstream vapor, but I got some Milkman in, and it's not even steeped all the way, which is like so unusual for Drip Club to send out juice that's not steeped. Um, but goddamn, I love this shit. It's like clear, and he's vaping it. It's I just love it so much. I'm such a sellout. I'm such a fucking it's little fanboy. He's just vaping it. I, I just love it. Um, vaping the last little bit of my siren song from Charlie Noble and my other siren song bottle. I have white girl, which is like so perfectly steeped and ready to vape It's amazing. Um, so I, I, I really like this, this butterscotch reserve from glass. Panda hates it. She thinks it's disgusting. Thinks it tastes it like tastes a cigarette. Like a cigarette. It doesn't, it tastes like a really good RY4 is what it tastes like. It's very sweet, but well, um, that's what it is. Yeah, I know. But it does, you don't you don't taste the caramel or the um the other shit that's in it. Butterscotch. So, butterscotch. I don't taste none of that. I just taste tobacco. I get it. it's mostly tobacco. It's got a lot, it's got a, a real wet dog thing going on, which is fine. That's what it's supposed <laughs> to be. Um, but then also this thing that I was most excited I think about. It's bland. Eh, yeah, I mean it's a little bland. It's still good. Um. This stuff, though, I was really excited about. I got all the whole line from Glass, the new Basic Series line, which I've heard a lot of good things about. And so I was really excited about this blueberry cake. And um, this shit tastes like pepper, like black pepper. It is peppery. Um, and it's not from the tobacco. It's not from the nicotine because the other liquids don't it's taste like it. It's the blueberry. It's like a really peppery blueberry. I'm still vaping it, uh, but it's not like, as good as I expected it to be. The inhale, was- you get a lot of pepper on the exhale. It's not so much. You can get the like blueberry and stuff. I don't get a ton of blueberry, but yeah, it's you get more on the you XL. Smell it, you smell crack, it. Crack, out, of the, crack, out of the nose, it's it's not bad at all. Crack the top, take out the the little nipple top, squeeze it a couple of times, and let it air out in a cabinet overnight, and that pepperiness might disappear a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but it's not from it's really not from the nicotine, so I don't know. Um, but uh, so the the one the one surprise from this line though was the um cinnamon. What's it called? Not cinnamon cookie, but it's sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. That shit is. That's what I'm vaping. Fire. That's what I'm vaping. It's so good. I love it. It's amazing. It's <laughs> it really. It tastes good. like an Irish potato. If anyone knows what that is, it tastes exactly like an Irish potato. It's fucking good. It's so good. We were just eating Irish potatoes. Uh, my work. My uh, boss brought a big thing of C's candy and that was all Irish potatoes. And so I grabbed one and brought it home to Panna. I ate one at work. Those things are so I, good. I love those. They're so good. And that's what this exactly tastes like to me. It tastes really good. Yeah. And Kenny B says the punch one is good. I haven't tried the punch one yet. The um, punch one is good. I like that one. Um, that one, the, No, not the punch. I like the gummy. The strawberry gummy. gummy. Oh, that is delicious. The punch one, I taste too much pineapple and I'm not a pineapple person when it comes to vapes. And the lemonade one has fucking culotta in it. So I, I haven't even fucked with that at all. Yeah, I, I didn't even do that one. <laughs> I was like, no. I already know I'm not going to like it. Anytime they put that shit in a liquid, it's like, you might as well just fucking save, save me the trouble. Just don't even send it to me. All right. Um, what else have I been vaping? Oh, so um, a little update. So um, Panda, like we were talking about last time, 
uh, her squonk from Dot Mod got defected. It fucking burnt the shit out of me. So they um, sent her. They replaced it. Um, it's so far so good. There's no trouble with it. Yeah, I was talking to um, one of the people there. Her name was Whitney throughout the whole process. She was really cool. She ended up throwing in um, a, one of the extra, like the red bottle. And, the and the peach tree. Had the cap and she and she surprised me with the peach tree RDA, which I'm not really a fan of because it's too, um, the airflow is just not enough for me. But it was nice that she threw that all in and she was nice throughout the whole thing. It was really cool. And she also showed me how to like um, clean out everything. And so I made a video about that because some people don't know how you know how to clean it out. So I love this fucking Petri. It's just restrictive enough that I find that it adds a lot of heat to a vape. Like it, it makes it look really dense and warm. I really like it a lot. It's 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 nice. I'm a 22 mil Addy guy though, so um, it was giving me too much of a perfect <coughs> with the cookie, and I was like, eh, I don't like that. I don't like throw hits, so. You know what it reminds me of is like the stock uh, battle deck stock like caps. It's I like the build deck cool. on it. The build deck's pretty cool. It's, it's really easy to build on. I like this build deck better than the 24 RDA from Damon. No way. Yeah, I do. No, I like the 24. The 24 is so simple to build on. I like two post decks a lot. Um, so yeah, I've been vaping on that. Um, I have, that's where I'm vaping the blueberry on. I'm going to try it and some other things to see if that helps. Um, I don't know. It's just this. I expected a lot more from this. Um, and of course, it's super sweet. All of I don't know if anybody's ever had glasses, other liquids like the pound cake that they have. They, they use tons of sweetener. There's all their, their liquids are just super sweet. And these are no different. They're super sweet. Um, a lot of sweetener in them. Their boxes are like <laughs> awesome. The boxes. The packaging is the best part. A hundred percent. Like they have their ratings on it. That they their own ratings. They have um, pictures of what's in it. They have the words that's what's in it. They have everything except the expect expiration date or the like made date. <laughs> I'm like they they should have just include that. So. They fucking they, they fucking boxes are nice. They really are nice, and the, the bottles are nice too. Um, and then I busted open a bottle of uh, I ran out of Rainbow Road from Big Deja. Rainbow Road right now is my favorite cereal vape, um, but I didn't have any more of that, so I busted open this bottle of Looper and I'm vaping that. Um, still vaping my fucking, still still rocking my McLovin with the uh, butcher top cap on it, you know, with the dead rabbit. Uh, what else? Got the drop, this ugly little beast, the drop. Um, I've, my first pair of like fully successful aliens that I made, I put in my drop and I'm rocking those. Um, that's not like my only time I've ever made a successful alien. So this is the first time I made a set of them. They were both good. So rocking those. Um, and then I got my uh, rig V2 with the Heracles RDA and I don't even know what I'm vaping in here. I actually have some um, rainbow that I can give you. I have a whole bottle. Cool, I will definitely vape it. I love that shit. And I also busted out for old for old time's sakes. I got the uh, Goliath RDA from, um, who the fuck makes this? Hey, she makes this thing. What? The Goliath RDA, uh, UD. UD, yeah. right? UD, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's who makes it. And I have white girl in there, and it's fucking delicious. This is a great, this is a great RTA. It's really awesome. Nobody would like it nowadays, but um, I, I really like it. And um, I, I honestly like the Griffin Twenty Five over the uh, Ud. I think the Griffin's way more in line with what's with what people vape now. You know what I'm saying? Like that's it can still vape that. It's still got tons of airflow. This is like right at the time when airflow was still not super wide open and right. kind of constrictive it's not the it, it, it's like it, it's like the bigger brother to the goblin yeah definitely, definitely yeah yeah the goblin mini is still a great tank i think people would still like that but um so that's what i'm vaping you know um nothing super new and exciting oh yeah and then nudge is when i'm vaping this uh, that uh butterscotch reserve in on the battle deck uh, but i do have some barbell i keep hearing i don't know what the fuck that is uh it's my text message tone sorry uh, <laughs> um, but um, I do have something really exciting coming in, uh, which is uh, the Trinity Glass um, Lady, um, Trinity Glass Hardware is what it's called now. Um, she emailed me and she's sending us a ton of uh, glass caps for a bunch of different RDAs. 
and as well as the USA One mod and the USA One RDA. So I don't think uh, two of those. Me too. I'm really excited about it. She didn't say how many of each thing she was sending, so but they're she also knows that we're both revealing, so hopefully she she knows. Absolutely. Absolutely. Better. And she's sending us shirts and stuff too, and uh, the whole thing. Uh, they're rebranding their whole thing. It's, it used to be Trinity Glass Tanks was the name of the company. Now it's Trinity Glass Hardware. So they're rebranding. They're trying to get their stuff out there. And um, I'm more than happy to help them because I fucking love those products. I just love them. And so that's the only time I'll do any kind of promotion, promotion quote unquote, for a company is if I really think that it's a good fucking product. And uh, yeah. I, I fucking love Trinity. I've always loved Trinity. So. I just got mm -hmm. in um, contact with Tony B and he's sending me his new e-liquid out. And hopefully, I put a hint out that I want to try his squonk. So I don't know if he'll send it out. I think he's just sending juice. So, so I'm excited to try his new juice because supposedly um, one of my subscribers recommended it for me. He said it tastes kind of like the one. So I should love it. So we'll see about that. <laughs> you still have so much of the one left, don't you? You still have like a yeah. few hundred mil bottles of that. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so that's some of the stuff that's going on with me, and uh, I'm excited about some other things that are coming in that I'll, uh, oh yeah, Giz is sending me a bunch of the coil vape stuff, um, this one and that one and the other one. So um, I'm excited about that. Uh, finally get to try it, catch up with everybody else. Um, I felt really out of the loop today. I was watching a bloody good vaping. I don't know if you guys know who that is. He's a guy from the UK. Um, yeah, Damien. He does a lot of high-end stuff. I've had my problems with Damien in the past uh, just because he can be a total hater and like on people, but that's just him. You know, I actually really enjoy his content. So uh, he he was vaping fucking this one or that one, one of them. And I'm like, this motherfucker in, in the UK is vaping it. I still haven't tried it. So uh, I'm lucky. I, I mean, I'm glad to have a friend like Giz who's going to help me you know, do it. All right. Um, so that's it for me. How about you, Hash? What have you been vaping? Uh, earlier in the week, uh, speaking of sugar cookie, uh, I was rocking almost all week long, and I barely dented it just because the flavor is just so much there. I actually noticed that I was vaping less. Um, <clears throat> strawberry jam cookie from Sad Boy. So it's like the, you know, the little sugar cookies that have that dollop of strawberry jam. Yeah. Like candied strawberry oh, jam. Fucking cookies. It tastes exactly like one of those because it's got that nice, sweet, sugary strawberry gooey flavor to it and then that sugar cookie just comes up on the back end so it's fantastic um tonight i am rocking um fizzy pops lemon lime citrus it tastes exactly like sprite um on the triple x with the gold dead rabbit uh on the murdered out rabbit with the Sarah Coat Dreamer. I've got Breakfast Time from Strong Island. Absolutely amaze balls. And I'm kind of doing um, a comparison uh, with the Breakfast Time from Strong Island to Preem's uh, Pebbles Pudding. And I got that on the Brass Dreamer with the Lucid. Can I get you some of that, Panda? Huh? We're going to get you some of that Preem's, that Pebbles. It's yeah. Pebbles with vanilla pudding. We'll get you some of that. Yeah, yeah definitely. it's absolutely dope stuff. Uh, taste it on the hand, and you just get overpowered with the straight fucking citrus. And you're like, what the shit is that? As soon as you pop it on a set of fucking um, fused clappies, I got a Yeti wire, uh, big boy comp wire, fused claptons in here, and um, it mellow the, it just mellows right out. Um, the the citrus is there. But you get a more pronounced vanilla pudding and cereal note, uh, and then the fruit is on the exhale. So it's, it's pretty dope. I really want to try that sad boy. I've been seeing everybody posted about that sad boy. I really it, want to try it, that. I'm sad. glad I fucking picked it up, man. It's dope. It's good. sad boy. Like all of their flavors so far has wowed me. Um, but again, I'm not one to go and pick up a whole line at one time specifically. At a, con uh, at a convention only because I want to be able to branch out and put my favorite cereal vape against somebody else's. You know what I mean? Like, I know for a fact that this stuff is one of my go-to favorites. What is that? 
Uh, Strong Island breakfast time. So basically it's Fruity Pebbles, but it's like, you know, the Fruity Pebbles cereal bars that has that uh, vanilla milk. Yeah, uh, I have some in my closet frosting. right now. Yeah, it tastes exactly <laughs> like that, but the citrus is um, muted back a little bit. So okay. you get more of the vanilla uh, cereal with a balanced fruit as opposed to that. See, I would like that a lot better because I'm not a citrus person. Yeah. No, this is this is definitely by far my favorite uh, Fruity Pebbles style vape. Nice. I need to try that. And is all about them Fruity Pebbles. I am. Yeah. I am. Pebbles Donut, when that first fucking came out, was bomb. Pebbles Donut's okay. It is, that's, you know, that's an all right I can, uh, well, I mean, this beats Pebbles Donut in my oh, eyes. Sure. Uh, but can only be breakfast. You know, John Nathan. Uh, that shit's fucking ruthless. I love fucking, that shit. Absolutely ruthless. And that's what ruined cereal vapes for me is because of that nice, uh, you know, Mars Capone creamy note with that bakery flavor and then smack of fucking quick little hints of cereal. I'm down. Everything that the, everything that those guys do, in my opinion, is a winner, man. Like um, I just did, uh, I just reviewed their D Rudd s'mores, which, yep. it, in my opinion, is probably like their their the weakest liquid that they've ever made. But it's still good. That, it's still fucking amazing. It's yeah, like still I mean, so good. The guys over at Bean Town, John Nathan with Casadaga, the their combination ADV, everything that they've done so far has always. You know, especially in this area, has knocked it out of the park because they're they're local to us. They're you know, and they- O Face is to me is one of the best strawberry liquids ever made. And that's I'm not even bullshitting. That's not hyperbole. That fucking O Face is it's hard yep. to beat that shit. It has like one of the most exquisitely done strawberries in vaping. So, man. Excellent. Now, 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 me and Yeti will both definitely fight you and say that Hawberry is one of the most exquisite. No, Hawberry is. It's good. <laughs> Hawberry is like a strawberry in a bottle. I right. love that stuff. It's really similar, actually. O Face and Hawberry have a very similar profile. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, o Face just has that nice little bit more of the ripeness, yep. whereas Hawberry is more of that candied strawberry. You know? A little bit more, but it's still very, very much a right. Oh, yeah. It's fucking it, – for a straight-up single flavor style, it, th- both of those are fucking amaze balls. Hawberry is a great liquid. It really is. Yeah. That whole line, that's, that's a good I line. I believe when I vape in it, I could, like, actually taste, like, the little, like, little things that are in the strawberry. Little little seeds. Yeah, the seeds. Seeds, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. This yeah. is amazing. Well, the great, the great thing about yeah, the I'm two mixers – I'm not a strawberry vapor at all, and I love that stuff. The, the great thing about the two mixers over at um at the barn they're both from culinary backgrounds so they they know flavors they know food so getting into e-liquid mixing was like next to nothing for them it's just come up with a great tasting recipe that's great on the palate you know but sometimes you know what sometimes that's it can be a curse and a blessing because you might know what you want but you have to be able to understand the flavorings themselves. Cause like, if you want like a good strawberry cream, you can't just right. put a strawberry flavor and a cream flavor. You have to like, right. you have to add things like just like adding like a, just a touch of dragon fruit and just different little weird tricks. Right. Right. To bring right. out right. Strawberry no, and shit, that, you know? That's a hundred percent. And um, the great thing is, is both of them worked with flavorings before because they have both worked in um, candy making as well as just regular culinary. That's you see. That's where I think that the the next best e liquid makers are going to come from is the candy industry, because they have a real understanding of artificial flavors. Right. Or we're just going to move t- really towards people uh, like a uh, uh, vaping swag, where he does all of his flavors internally, like in house, where he's right. making his strawberry. That's another motherfucker who makes a really quality strawberry because he uses strawberries he grows himself and extracts flavor from it. Like yep. that's. That's next well, level. Again, again, vape kitchen, you know? Yeah. Vape kitchen, all all done natural. Um, when, when uh, what's her name? When Gypsy was still running it, fucking uh, Dystopia e-liquids and Mectopia, all of her, um, all of her flavorings um, were all naturally extracted at her lab. And she actually supplied wholesale extracts to some of the flavoring companies mm. so it's like, not, it's not, that shit ain't easy to do right i mean you can anybody can do it but you do it well 
right it's, it's a whole different story so well again her whole family came from the candy making hmm. uh italian gypsies like old country so vape kitchen man if anybody hasn't tried, if you're if you're super into okay first off if you have a pg allergy or if you just really don't care for pg at all uh vape kitchen is one of the only companies that has absolutely zero pg in their liquids everything is right. VG based. their flavorings are vg based their nicotine is vg based it's it's 100 percent a vg liquid yeah i'm real sensitive to um pg like too uh, much pg can get it's all messes me all up we have to get you some vape kitchen um i just wish they had a little bit more traditional flavors that I could like stuff that I could wrap my head around a little bit more. Some of their flavors are so outlandish that it's just like the Thai mango sticky rice really, is good, but I couldn't vape it all the time. You know, it's really really complex flavors. Yeah, really advanced flavors. Yes, and sometimes I just want to shut my brain off and just vape a strawberry cream. Oh, now I got to remember the one that Cloudy sent to me that I absolutely fucking fell in love with. Their sticky rice to me, I think, is a, one of their best fucking flavors. Oh, rice here, letting him in, let the boy in. Yeah, Vape Kitchen's legit. I mean, yeah. uh, I just wish they'd had a little bit more traditional. There he is. There he is. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all you've been vaping? Yeah, that's, that's uh, pretty much it this week. Uh, I haven't really shied away from that because that's all the stuff that I got from Foxwoods last weekend, and I'm really wanting to give it a run for its money. Um, and I will definitely, uh, be taking a few days off from shows this week, um, to actually record some reviews and comparisons. And I actually might do a, uh, Preem versus Strong Island serial battle. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And, I, I mean, if I do, I mean, I got, I got two dead rabbits. I can do the exact same build in both of them. And there's no way that I can't not get the same kind of flavor profile if I'm using same build, same RDA. Yeah. All right. Uh, Rye, what's going on, brother? What's up, guys? Sorry I'm late again. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> Always. Um, so let me check in the chat real quick. Uh, fogging out with the Batman. What's up? Uh, JFN Development, what's happening? Pippa was here and then gone. My people. All right. Um, yeah. So what have you been vaping on, Ryan? Oh, uh, still using the Pulse right now at the moment. And I got the N24 RDA by Vape Puff. Yeah. That's what I'm rocking. <laughs> you rocking the original? You rocking the original yeah. Pulse? The Pulse, the 22 or the 24? Yeah, the Nice. Uh, well, no, no, I'm talking about the the, the mod. The, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but I got the N24 on top of it. I really love this uh, this RDA. I mean, if you guys haven't tried this or thinking about picking it up, I, I highly recommend that it's actually good. So, Is it yeah, the, there, there goes that you, material. The N24. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what juice? Yeah. Oh, only the best. Um, a door, man. That's where it's at. <laughs> Any door liquid. Nice. Um, right now at the at the moment, I'm I'm vaping a lemon ecstasy because I finished drinking the the banana bondage. <laughs> <laughs> drinking it. That's what's up. I'm done. So, uh, Don, if you're here, uh, I'm out. <laughs> Look it up. I'm, almost, it out there. I'm almost out too. I, I I've been savoring 30 mils, like just holding it, going like I know that as soon as I lose this fucking banana bondage, I am done. But then I also have a fucking bottle of concentrates of lemon ecstasy that I'm like, ooh, yeah, that <laughs> that can be fixed at. Adore e liquid. <laughs> yeah, you fucking bums. Go fucking yeah, buy you, some. You, you use coupon code <laughs> pink pussy to get yourself 10% off. <laughs> Is this what you're talking about, Ryan? The N24 by Triple Six Mods? No, that's not, not it. This is from uh, 
Vape Puff. It's Vape it's Puff. I've never heard of it uh, yeah. of this company before. Okay. And when I started seeing it on my Instagram and I was interested on it at first because it's it's they were bragging about how the they have an internal uh adjustable airflow system yeah. so i'm like what is this new gimmick thing so i looked into it and i was really interested in it and i i even like uh, sent them a message asking where to get it because i can't seem to find where it's at and then they just sent me a heart like they like my <laughs> message <laughs> i don't know so I'm like, all right okay i understand that you like my question but can you give me an answer please and they wouldn't answer so so, and then I searched around on, on YouTube and I saw Mike Bapes uh, reviewed it and he gave it, he gave it an okay review. He's not really, uh, you know, like all out happy with it, but he got I can't find it, man. Yeah. yeah that's, I can't find it at all on fucking, on any I said it was okay. Yeah, but I was really interested in it because of the look of the deck and I'm like, yeah. I, I started like thinking about things and. Now, well, if you look at my latest post, those are those are what I wanted to come out <laughs> to. Uh, I'm really attracted to the deck. So, is that the one that looks like it has gears I, and shit inside yeah, of it? Like, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's the one. That I looks, mean, it's pretty, it's pretty cheesy of what they do. It's like they're really, really running out of what's what's going to be a good <laughs> innovation out there that <laughs> doing these things. I thought if you if you Spin it, it's gonna collect the juice and raise it up like a windmill or something, <laughs> or like a water. I thought it's gonna be like that, but <laughs> well, I'm, you know, I asked Mike about it, and Mike was like, "Oh, I got extras. I'll send you one." So thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, good, good thing he did because I cannot find that shit on fucking the internet at all. I just look for it, and it's it's not available. So Damn, I couldn't find it. I think they only released like two RDAs. I think the other ones are an RDTA. Mm. And, and this is the second one they released, so they're pretty new. There's a fucking there's a trend. I'm glad fucking died was RDTAs. I fucking hated RDTAs. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> would, I knew that wouldn't last long. Just a messy ass fucking RDA is all it is, man. That's true. Yeah, so much came out. So fucking many of those motherfuckers came out, and everybody released one. It's like squonking now. Everybody's got a fucking squonk mod now. And everything's single coil, too. Oh, so that brings me to my first topic. Good fucking segue, Yeti. Oh, wait, no, we got to... We'll get there. I'm sorry. We'll get there. <laughs> Panda, what have you been vaping this week? Um, I've been vaping my last um, dinner lighter um, lemon tart. It's all gone now. Um, I've been vaping sugar cookie in my um, dot mud squonk. And blueberry something from a door e liquids with my drop and my new mod. Big Mike mods. <laughs> I love that's my favorite e liquid from a door is blueberry something. Yeah, I I love this stuff. I, I like this and the um, banana bondage. I love that. Banana bondage is like the only e liquid, banana flavored e liquid that actually tastes like a fucking banana and doesn't taste like runts. I actually haven't really gave le um, the lemon ecstasy a, a, like a chance yet because I've been vaping these ones first. So I still have that sitting, waiting for me to vape and see how it goes. I'm really funny about lemons. It has to have like a little bit of a sweet tone to it or I get turned off by it. Sometimes I get like cravings for that tartiness. It's definitely more of a sweet lemon than anything, lemon ecstasy. But yeah. it just, it, for me, what I like, uh, and this was, you know, intentionally what they did was uh, it's like a lemon meringue or whatever, but it doesn't have any like uh, any crust, any kind of like pie. And I, that's what I like with like lemon flavors, like with lemon tart. I like it because it has like a lot of substantial dessert. Oh, I, kind of I love that. I love like the first vape you get from lemon tart is like a crusty lemon yep. pie. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it just sinks me in. I'm so sad that it's all gone now. <laughs> it sounds bad when you say crusty lemon, but I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I did find the N24, IN24. Oh, okay. I, I, found that. That I found their, their website, 
and there's a, actually a link uh, on the product page where it says buy. You click on that, and it's got to come from fucking Shenzhen, China, straight up. Of course it does. Everything comes from fucking Shenzhen, dude. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's thirty two ninety nine. So it's a moderately priced. It's not bad, but single coil. Yeah. It's got those weird gears for the adjustable airflow. That you're yeah. right, right. I I think I want to pick one up just because I want to see what the fucking deck. You can is. grab it. You can grab it from Ali. The, the juice well is, yeah, the juice well is really deep, so you can over squonk, and it's still like you know, it's just soaked in there. Nice. Which weird it came from China because the air hole is like really round. It should be a little chinky, right? <laughs> yeah, say, says the resident Asian. sorry china <laughs> casual racism gotta love i can it. say that i can say that i'm asian he can say, he can say it right yep and i'm abusing it <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be no dv with a little bit of un, uh, underlying racist tones <laughs> so, here, so here it is so here it is right this is it yeah yes, sir, yep. yeah That's look it. at them gears oh wow i want one of those well, they have yeah. it on AliExpress, your favorite site. I'm ordering that shit. Twenty five ninety eight from AliExpress. That's I don't like to spend more than five dollars on AliExpress. <laughs> I can't nice, believe it's it's cool. AliExpress. It comes with that weird uh, drip tip, that long one, I guess, for for MTLs, but I never use it. It's it's just weird. Oh. It takes me so back. Like, it, oh, it comes with two different drip tips. That's Look cool. at that one. Look at that one. That's so yeah. stupid. It, 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 That's it, so it's fucking stupid. <laughs> so it's an 810 drip tip, but then they give you a tulip style 510 drip tip on an 810. So I guess yeah. we know who's. And the RDA is already tall, so adding that makes it even like taller looking. I guess we know that fucking who's still using 510 drip tips. It's fucking Shenzhen residents. It's man. That's and, um, that is an unusual RDA. It is. <laughs> I like weird RDAs, though. It's great for pictures, man, because your pictures have been so fucking cool with this RDA. The gears, <laughs> the gears and shit, add such like another level to it. It's awesome. It's looks bio, amazing. looks biomechanical. Love yeah, it. it's crazy. But I like it because it's a single coil, and yeah, I'm a fanboy. So it's another, it's another segue. We're almost there. We're all going to talk about single coil RDAs pretty soon. Um, yeah, Dean, what have you been vaping on this week? Um, well, I'm dangerously, <laughs> dangerously low on pure peach, so I had Don? to switch over. So I had to switch over to uh, to my uh, not from con con concentrate. Fuck, I can't even talk. And then I've been nursing some jungle juice, off and on, in between, <laughs> in between NFC. So yeah, same yeah, old, you, same old. If, if you can grab this here. Just <laughs> Take that's <it>. your camera <laughs> yeah no i got a full i got a full bottle that i've been waiting on and i'm like gotta crack it oh yeah I, i've got a full bottle but that's that <laughs> that's not even a week's worth of vaping <laughs> right i gotta yeah, try that i think that's all i've got unless this i don't think this is pure beach actually i think this is lemon ecstasy Church, yeah. what's going on? Don in chat. What's up, girl? Love you. Easy Rider. Hello. Yeah, I need oh. to make an order. I'm, <laughs> that's that's scary. I have no backup reserves. <laughs> You're yeah. fucking slipping. We need to Link. make an order, too. Yeah. I don't, don't want to run out of my blueberry something. <laughs> no, I'll make an order. I really like it. Ooh, that. Zach Johnson wants to know, Travis, broadside or AV? Oh, that's a tricky a question. AV all day, but I mean, broadside is, it's a whole different, it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. So. I'm not even like broadside. broadside no more. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the broadside anymore. Um, after using it for over like a year, I'm not, I, it, it just didn't hold up for me. Um, I think if you're limited on money and you're, you're looking at the $150 price range, especially knowing Zach Johnson, I would go for the fucking overpowered Modco. That's uh, what I'd do. Uh, if because I mean that's just that's what's that's what's up. Well, and it's got a cl it's got a clutch button just like the broadside. Yeah. Thing, so. and and it's Zach Johnson with batteries. And Zach Johnson, he's the guy who always posts sends in the pics with the fucking thirty millimeter RDAs, and so yeah, it's a perfect fit for him. Mil. Yeah, it's a thirty, 30 mil RDA or a Mac. Yeah. Ooh. 
Um, but I mean, uh, if you're looking at clones of things, then definitely AV stuff is, is way better cloned than the broadside. Uh, the broadside clones that I have seen have been very poor. Um, they've not been done well. So um, yeah, I would go with AV. Um, if you can afford it, the authentics, I think are, are next level. But uh, especially for clones, I think if you're like shopping at 3F Vape, all the AV stuff's gonna be way better than any of those broadside clones. Just my opinion, just one guy. Link, what's happening, brother? Vaping Bachelor, what's happening? <clears throat> Kenny B, he said, he said, I never was a fan of the broadside. Told you all they're junk. Yeah, you know, um, I was a big fan of the broadside when it first came out because I thought for price to performance. You constantly and, have to keep it clean or it don't, it starts yeah, malfunctioning. Well, yeah. that's the, but that's the thing is that some mods that I have, <clears throat> I can fucking, it's like AK-47s. I can throw them in the fucking mud and fucking keep vaping them and nothing happens. Um, and that's kind of like what it was at the broadside for like the first year, it was fine. And then all of a sudden it just like shit started popping up where it wasn't functioning right. The fucking would auto fire, the button would get stuck. It would get to find like that sweet spot for it to fire. So I, I am purposely letting both of my broadside and my 99 get naturally fucking shitty succeeded and I'm sending it to Yeti for a custom job. So I've, once, I've uh, had this. once they once they reach that fucking level of where I want it to be nice and dark, uh, they're going to Yeti's way. Yeah, but you don't <laughs> you don't have to do that. I can do it for you. Ain't a lot I less know. time. I know, I know. He just um, he just wants his shit to look ugly for a while. That's all. Yep. I've I've had this for two years. Chris, correct me if I'm wrong. Almost almost two years. Never had any problems with it. No problems. The only problem I had was for the first like six months i didn't have a stack section that is a <laughs> problem they didn't make it then but no, I don't, and, here, and here's the thing i don't I think that, i don't i don't think any i don't think everyone is going to have issues with the broadside i'm just i can only say that what our experience has been is that yeah. we, well, we, and, we we clean it and then it's like literally like the next week we're, we're right back to where we were and so i i will i'll also admit that uh the uh the broadside there is it's a lot like the uh the um what was that fucking thing called the noisy crickets a lot of people oh, yeah. hated a lot of people hated that one after the new war off because you got to learn there's a there's a learning curve kind of you got to learn how to work how to adjust the button how to yeah. you you do have to work with it you know you got to raise and lower things and because after things get seated in and and yeah. o-ring stretch out you got to work with it a little bit, yeah. just like any 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 mechanical. You know, yeah. they're they're going to change with time. Definitely. You know? and, and well, the thing with the cricket, I, I totally agree. Everybody loved them until they didn't. But the thing about the cricket was they were just they were not built well. They were built from really subpar materials, yeah. and they it's fell a apart. Twenty dollar mod. Yeah, exactly. I think people expected a lot more from them. Uh, what scared me about the noisy cricket was like, hey, we're giving eight volts to literally everyone now. And yeah. that was that was fucking dangerous because I know people and people are fucking idiots. And so um, no excuse to people, but you guys are idiots. Um, so somebody said something about the uh, Dreamer. OK, if you're looking for a mod, a regular size mod, 24, 24 millimeter in that price range around one hundred dollars, you cannot beat price to performance. The Dreamer, the Dreamer is absolutely yeah. best price to performance mod on the market right now. Hands down. It's absolutely yeah. unbeatable. I love the Dreamer. Me too. I think it's the best fucking mod. One of the best ones I have. It hits hard. It hits hard like a motherfucker. It's got, it's, it's, it's just amazing. The button is so fucking lovely and crisp and yeah, fucking love it. Absolutely love it. It takes three different kinds of batteries. Yeah. Comes, you know, comes with the sleeve that's got a silver contact, full silver four. contact. Four different four kinds types of, batteries. of batteries. Oh, yeah. And let me like tell you, that thing. saved my ass this week because I used one of Travis's batteries that were sitting around, and I went to put it on a charger, and there was a strip missing from his battery, and thank God I had it in that plastic um, battery um, adapter because I would have been fucked. <laughs> and, that's, and it's the most legit 18650 adapter for any of those mods I've ever seen. It's yeah. built well. It's got a great contact. I it's actually good. prefer using the adapter rather than the, the um, 2700. It, it, fit, it fits so snug in there, too. Yep. Yep. Like, it, it, I, I've actually had to 
pull it out of the top cap. Yeah, it like gets yeah. a suction to where yeah, it does. Like, yeah. I love um, it. Somebody else said something that uh, I wanted to touch on. Somebody said, I, I pretty much don't buy um, uh, clone mods. Now, hey, in this day and age, there is really, unless you're just curious about something or you want something you just can't afford, right? Or if you're just on a super tight budget, there's really no reason for you to have to buy clone mods because there's so many good mods available for such a decent price. Um, like even Dreamer. Like the Dreamer, but even if $100 is too much for you, um, there's – like uh, uh, Geek Vape, uh, they make a mech mod. Um, there's tons of mods out there you can get for WizMech for under 50 bucks. You know what I mean? And um, so there's really no reason unless there's just a specific mod that you have your eye on that you can't afford. And, yeah, and, and it's like, su super expensive. Or it's just not available. Like there's some mods that just aren't available. You can't, they, yeah. they don't make them anymore. Or they're just like constantly sold out because they yep. go fast. And yep. Yeah, I would I would definitely go to three what was that three F three F yeah. before I go to fast tech. Anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. Big time. I've learned my lesson with that. Like I was I've ordered something from Fast Tech and then I ordered from Three F Eight because Travis recommended it to me. I was like, Yeah. Yeah. It, from product. <laughs> if you're you know, if you're on a budget <laughs> make that five dollars stretch as far as you can go to yep. 3f yep fucking fast tech is <laughs> screw that place that's so you shitty it's so shitty getting what you're paying for at fast tech yeah yeah i always felt like i was getting a really good value at 3f fabe um but here's the thing okay so i don't buy clone mods myself anymore but here's there's a lot of reasons why i'm in a position where i don't have to because i have a lot of i have a lot of mods already um i i, I have a good job if I want something, I can save up and get it. Um, I'm spoiled. Panda buys me shit all the time. Um, so I just, there's like, there's like a lot of reasons why I don't. Um, now I have absolutely no judgment to anyone who buys clone mods. I know yeah. some people who we will sell, only buy clone mods. We bought a couple of clone mods because they don't sell them normally. They are just Chinese made um, mods. Yeah. And we bought them and we love them. Yeah, the Fu Hatton was, was one example of something that I would always recommend to people. It's a clone, sort of. Um, now they're clones of clones, you know, but um, that's something that I think is, is amazing. Um, some people just, you know what, when you're first starting, I bought a lot of clones, but that was also, um, that was just what everybody did when I was first starting, because no, you couldn't get mods. It was not as easy to get. Um, but I just, there's a lot of reasons why I don't personally, I've made that decision where I don't, if I can avoid it, I will just wait. Till, till something uh, goes on sale. I do that a lot. Like I've always wanted a comp life mod. Uh, we, you know, never could afford it. This fucking McLovin went on sale, so we bought one. It, it's just like, I'll wait for a sale. I'll, I'll wait for something to come up. I'll do a lot of trades, stuff like that. Um, you know, stuff happens. Uh, you, if you're just patient and you put your little feelers out there, you can fucking get things for a good money. It's just- um, okay. I mean, comp, comp life for their-, their fucking black friday sale is always huge yep that you know chameleon paint job mod with matching fucking cap for 125 dollars which literally that's like a 600 hundred dollar setup so yeah so i can't complain they, they even sent it with um you know one of their mod bags yeah, we have, we have two. Holds, it, holds, yeah. it holds ten fucking batteries in it, plus your mod, and you have enough to fit wire and juice in it. Here's but one that they sent. Here's one that they sent. Uh, we got two different ones. We got a red one, and then we got this one as well. Uh, you know, I love the complex stuff, and um, like I'm gonna continue to buy their stuff, but I, I can only afford to buy it when it's on sale. So that's yeah, it. this is the bag that they sent with mine. Complex oh, logo right man. on the front. Yeah, with we don't have Bell clips yeah. on it, and then. Your 10 batteries, five there, five there. Yeah, we got a red one and we got that the brown one. Yeah. Really um, nice. And then think, there's oh, the yeah, authenticity yeah. card. Now this is this is the mod that got fucking lost in the mail for uh three weeks. Wow. I would be fucking I didn't, I didn't get it till almost fucking Christmas. I would have been mad. Oh, I was I was fucking furious. And I was I was in touch with Comply four days later when uh, when it showed that it shipped, but there was no movement from their post office. Yeah. And then three fucking weeks later, 
after I was about to put in, uh, I had put in a lost package. It shows up on my fucking doorstep. You know, here's another thing too, is that, um, oh, here comes vinegar. Um, here's another thing is that, um, is it true? Rye, do you like pickles? Huh? Does Rye yeah, like pickles? I'm actually starting to reply to that. Yeah, I love pickles. <laughs> um, here's another thing, if, if you're on a budget, is that uh, <laughs> big ass pickles with big ass bumps on them for my pleasure. <laughs> big bumps. Like the bumps, baby. Um, so, oh, oh, okay. I didn't go that far, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> only in private, only in our private conversations do we ever go that far. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, but one more little thing to uh, you know uh, just uh, to put a little period on this conversation about clones is that right. uh, most companies have like what's called like the dent or mispainted section right uh, Comp Life is one of those uh, clones uh, yeah and the rig rig mods you can get like they're just you know they're just ones that have small imperfections in like the paint or the finish and you can usually get those for. A fraction of the normal cost. So there's ways to get mods if you want them. You just have to you know, be creative. That's all. Okay. Um, I think we touched on everybody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you tell us what you've been vaping on? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we can, <laughs> we can finally move on now. Um, we're, so we've been talking a lot about single coil RDAs because everybody's been talking about them lately. Um, Not me. Just, what are some good single coil RDAs? What would you recommend? And can you get? Is it possible? to get a satisfying vape on a single coil RDA. Uh, Rye, plug your ears real quick. The <laughs> only way to get it, to make a good <laughs> single coil, a good one is to put two coils in it. <laughs> I find it so difficult to, I've really tried to jump on board this single coil thing, um, <laughs> but man, I just cannot get a satisfying vape. I can't. Either. I just can't, I just can't. It's just not enough. Know. The, I really you like gotta the, explore with the, the coil, goal, man. If you, if you, the goal go ahead, we go got, for it. Tra Travis. The goal has really good flavor. It has, it has good flavor. flavor, but it doesn't satisfy my need. And I have uh, right now. I have a fucking coil, a single coil that's at point oh seven. It's a it's a triple it's a triple core <laughs> fuse clapped in in parallel with twenty four gauge comp wire. It is a fucking beast of a coil, but it's still not satisfying me. I'm not getting. You need to raise the resistance. That's why. But that's that doesn't make sense to me. See, Trust me. Trust me. Hey, you gotta raise it up. You, you want it. You want it around. I I like it when it's around point one two, uh, to point one six, around okay. that. But you're also oh. rocking on regulated mods and shit a lot. Right? Well, not, not a lot. lot. I, I'm actually into squonking, so it's like most uh, mechanical squonks are, are good with it, actually. So okay. it, it works for me. I'll have to but try I'm a fan of it because I can explore more with the coils. Um, actually, you know, I, I get to, to put more wires on the coils with that and without yeah. worrying with the, with the resistance. Okay. Um, uh, Easy Rider just said something, and this is something that I totally agree with. And this isn't just because Yeti's on the show, uh, but uh, Goon Food is the only single coil I've ever been satisfied from. And I totally agree with that. The Goon Food, I will stick in a dual, it's a, normally like a dual coil RDA, like the Goon, for instance, and um, leave both sides wide open. And I get a great vape off of that. Totally satisfying, very dense, hot vape. I love that. Uh, but that's like, thank you. That's such a rare thing. And so, you know, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm totally open to suggestions on, on nice single coil RDAs. The B2K is one that I keep hearing about. Oh, hey. um, oh, sorry, Panda. Go ahead. No, you started before no, me. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn it. Mine wasn't important. <laughs> well, I was just gonna say, um, if you watch or if you see like what uh some of the old schoolers or some of the guys that have always done mouth to lung or have always been squonkers, um, like, like Dean from Coil Vapes, for an example, you know, he always vapes like, you know, 0 0.3 or 0 0.25, something like that, higher, higher resistance. And typically a single coil, um, almost always, almost always. Cause look at those, those high dollar, all the like really expensive, the high dollar, uh, squonking RDAs are single coil, and they've always been single coil. Yeah, like the hell, like the hell fire and all that shit. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what I was 
that everyone I've seen with single coils always have high ohm builds. Like at least yeah. like the lowest I've seen was point um point one something. Yeah. Like never in the point zeros builds. Yeah. I think that's where the whole the flavor and the satisfaction comes in. And and see Dean would he would he was constantly telling me you know, the, that you get more, you get better flavor, you know, when you, especially like on a single battery thing or even a regulated device, if you run something like, you know, a point two, you know, on a single coil that you just get some really badass flavor out of it. Of course, me being the stubborn asshole I am, you know, I'm sitting here running something like this, you know, going, uh -huh, okay, all right, you know, you know, pounding a, a point two on a, you know, on a stack two, but I guess I never listen. That's just, that's, that's, I've always been like that. Even when I first started, when tanks and fucking RDAs couldn't handle what I was trying to do, I always knew what I wanted. I wanted extremely yeah. low on builds. I wanted tons of vapor and I wanted a hot ass fucking vape. And um, that's what I've always done. And so I, I've continued to do that. And that's even when it was not in fashion, I, I've done that. And so it's just, it's so counterintuitive to me to like go, oh, I need a higher own build. At one time, yeah. point one was was a satisfying build for me, but um, mooch be damned, I like to rock my batteries to their fucking absolute core, <laughs> and I want my shit to be dangerous, man. I just I have that's the only way I get a really satisfying base. Mooch be damned. <laughs> mooch be damned. Mooch be damned. <laughs> so I'm seeing a lot of suggestions in the uh, chat here. Um, first off, uh, I'm about, I see a lot about Asian penises, which I always <laughs> love. <laughs> you love Asian penises? I do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I love That's it. racist. That's no, racist. How's it hey, racist if I like it? Damn it! You're, 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 guys, I gotta stop sending you my naked pics. <laughs> you got me addicted. Addicted. <laughs> you're you're uh, not counting any other races. You're only counting. Hey, I've, had, I've, had cock, I've had cock of all flavors. And I'm just saying. Yeah. I like I'm just that, saying. I like that sticky rice. You're discounting. You're discounting Alaskan Eskimo penises. Hey, Malibu you know, penis is good. I like that. Um, I'm done with that. Right. I'm done with it. Rice. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop the show right now. That's what everybody's left with. So, um, so I see some things that uh, people were suggesting. Uh, the Nudge 22. Um, I, I like the Nudge. I, I believe we have the Nudge uh, 24, which is nice. Um, yeah, that's good flavor. I that's that. great flavor. And I'm sure the Nudge 22 is good. Um, the only one that I have is like that's built for single coil. Is we have the the Pulse 22, which I think is. Um, Honestly, it's probably like the best single coil RDA I've ever used. Um, and then I have this uh, ghoul, which is nice. Um, I like the way the ghoul's designed because it's designed for single coil, so half the deck is like, blocked off. so easy to build on. You can build on in seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to build on. You can put a lot of shit in here. Um, it's it's nice. It's nice. Um, but I still don't get fully satisfied from it. It's just pretty restrictive airflow. And that's something that I noticed with a lot of these single coil RDAs is that it's like super restrictive airflow. Well, the pulse isn't. No, the pulse is like the exception. That's why I like it so much because it's got tons of airflow. It's got a great deck for building on, and um, it's just a goddamn good atomizer. So, what's better than that? I mean, that's what I want to know. What's better than the pulse? The aeronaut and the cosmonaut. Those are both fucking fantastic single coil. Okay. Uh, Ned from Vape Girl. Um, Colleen's husband. Uh, his go-to uh, RDAs are the Aeronaut and the Cosmonaut. Uh, the Aeronaut mainly uh, is his 100%. He vapes single coil, high resistance, high wattage all the fucking time. Hmm. You know, like he'll he'll build a point two three, like diesel fucking insane, like agro coil slapping in the air or not because it's huge and it can handle it and he'll go all day 80 90 watts on a fucking single coil hmm. sometimes i'll build the drop single or i'll build the dead rabbit single if i have like a really fat ass like a staple coil or just like a really big gauge like a, if i build like a fuse clapping out a 20 gauge wire 
I'll throw a single in the dead rabbit. And that's kind of satisfying because it's like tons of air from both sides. Um, but it's still not the same. It's just, it's just not the same. So um, Juan is really fucking pressuring me about this B2K. And I saw the B2K and I like the way it looks. It comes with a lot of options. And um, and it's got a lot of airflow and it's got a lot of, uh, it's got, it comes with a lot of little doodads and shit. So I'm going to try that shit. The B2K looks cool. Yeah. It does look cool. I haven't really got any like cravings to get any new R- RDAs at all. Like I don't know. There's really not anything out there right now. The only thing that I'm interested in getting is um, that fucking one that El Thunder came out with. Uh, the I forget what it's called, but it's it's it matches the El Thunder. And the only reason I'm interested in that is because I want the El Thunder mod and I want the RDA that goes with it. That's the only reason. No, I. One of my issues with single coil RDAs is I always try and push the limits and slam two coils into them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I.e. the uh, Doge V4 British deck, the Squonk deck. Mm-hmm. Right? I managed to jam two vertical coils into it. And uh, you know what? It's still not satisfying. There's way too much airflow, even if I cut it down. Mm-hmm. So here's the B2K, um, the caviar edition. Comes with a look at that, Panda. Look Comes with, Comes yeah, I know. <laughs> I love, I love accessories. Look at all that shit. Comes with a lot. Yeesh. How much is this? Is, this is $75 Canadian, so it's probably about $50 US. Yeah, about 80 <laughs> But it's only five. Oh, Canadian. Days. Canadian, yeah. So it's about fifty dollars US. Is that only five? Um, is that only five ten? Uh, yeah. Uh, looks like mostly five ten. Yeah. No, there's a couple eight ten ones in there. I think. Can't do five ten. Uh. I like. Oh, yeah. I like my air. I like a lot of air. She likes big drip tips. Uh, District Five has oh, that. District Five, 5 has the Cosmonaut for fifty percent off till midnight tonight. Wow. Okay. The Cosmonaut. You know, I remember that when that came out, but I, I don't. I can't for the life of me. I can't remember what it looks like. Oh, look it up. Cos. Either love it or hate it. RDA. It's a decent. It's decent. I've built on it a couple of times. Uh, for some. Oh, of the I like the. I like the deck. Yeah, yeah it's postal stick. Yeah, I like that. It looks cool. Show it. I am. Hold on. Jeez. Hold your panties, girl. Let's put up. Okay. So there's the deck. It's got some coils in it. Some beefy ass motherfuckers. Here's the, oh, here it is like in single it. coil mode. Yeah, I like it. I think it looks cool, actually. It's real cool. Goon food in that. Now, the only issue is uh, you really have to have your... AFC top cap on uh, before you drip because it's got no juice well to it. Yeah, obviously it's, it's that's it. It's, there's not much there. Yeah, you got. But two- that's the thing is that I don't ever I don't I don't rely on my juice well at all. I I no. fucking drip. I take a fucking vape. I drip. I take a vape. So that, that would work perfect for me. Old school single coil. Boring. It's, you know, people people who build coils like that only fucking missionary position. I'm going to say it. <laughs> no whips and chains for them, huh? Yeah, no fucking, uh, nothing exciting for them. They haven't, they haven't had their dicks sucked in six years. <laughs> but anyways, sexual proclivities aside. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I just want to kind of wanted to touch on that. And then I kind of like re- realized that we had a bunch of fucking vapors who probably don't use a lot of single coil RDAs. But then we had Rye on there, so I thought we would fucking touch on it again. <clears throat> hey, I don't know why. I enjoy it. You like what you like. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's it. Uh, I mean, I'm not against it. If I found I mean, an RDA that worked for me, I'd, I'd definitely do it. It's not like I'm against the dual coil setup. You know, it's just right now. Uh, this is my phase right now. Actually, it's been going on for like the past six months that I'm just enjoying single coil. I like a uh, little wattage, um, you know, builds. There's nothing wrong with that. And just more chill ones, you know. 
You know, I had somebody a long time ago, um, somebody who I who who knows their shit and who I respect their opinions a lot. And they were, you know, and they said something that makes a lot of sense. They're like, you know, you the vape you like, you know, with super sub ohm and all that shit. He's like, man, I, I get a very comparable experience with a like 0.8, like a, not 0.08, but like a 0.8 coil at 30 watts. And, and I'm like, and I'm like, you know, the, the amount of vapor you're getting might be similar, but it's a different kind of feel. Like you, you don't get that density, that heat. Um, and you know, that's just, it's, it's just a different thing. Some people like that very light kind of experience. I need it to fucking hit me hard, you know? And instantly. And instantly. I'm, I'm an impatient. I can't wait. That's, and that's why I like super sub on builds is because it's, and that's why I like mech mods. There's absolutely no time between when I push the button and my lungs are full of vapor. It's like literally a fraction of a second. So that's why I keep coming back. All right. Um, oh, you so speaking of, speaking about the single coil devices and like, you know, that, that kind of experience, um, I had somebody ask me about uh, uh, like Nick salt liquids. They were looking for recommendations. Anybody fuck with Nick salts? I, I, I haven't really dove into that a lot. We a were bit. supposed to get some and we never got it. I know. The only thing I've ever messed with is Mr. Salty's. I've talked with Mr. Salty's. Yeah. I, I like Mr. Salty's in, um, I don't have the setup readily available, but I have the, um, do I? No, I don't. Uh, a Spire Nautilus V2 uh, with the Mr. Salty's Blood Orange uh, with the 1.8 um, Clapton coils. Fucking fantastic. I love that. Mouth to lung all day. 14 watts. I get, I usually use it on my uh, Taro Nano. And I, you know, I can go for two, three days getting a good satisfying lung, uh, you know, MTL throat hitty heavy on the lung vape without annoying my coworkers. I remember when 30 mils of e-liquid, this is like, you know, like a, back in my day kind of thing. I remember yeah. when 30 mils of e-liquid would last me for a week because you fucking had a tank that had a two ohm coil in it and you were vaping it at six Watts. And that does not, that, that shit is, good for preservation of food. not a great vape but i mean um and that's kind of like what i think of uh when when i think of like single coil and i think of like nick salts i think of like just kind of like a unsatisfying like i'm doing this because either like i don't want to annoy my co-workers it's like it just feels like, like if you could if you could vape something else you could but i can't so i'm vaping this you know what i mean i don't know yeah i don't know uh, Isig Barn just put out a Nick Salt line, and as as I said at the beginning of the show, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more of innovation with the Nick Salts, like a medium uh, level, because right now they've got 50 milligram and 25 milligram Nick Salts is the average. Um, 25 mil uh, milligram, just it's you don't get as much of the throat hit as you do with a 50 milligram, but you don't, you, you find yourself vaping it a hell of a lot more. So they went back through and bumped up their line to 30 milligram on their Nick salts. And it's fantastic. Like their, their tobacco, their red barn tobacco done with the Nick salt, as opposed to the original 50-50, um, you know, VGPG, straight up fucking liquid nicotine. Uh, I actually enjoy it with the Nick salts. And I never liked that flavor whatsoever. Like, I was tempted to buy a bottle and a boulder just to have a good, satisfying tobacco, mouth-to-lung vape at a higher Nick salt level without having to get a pod system, you know, and, you know, I've got a few pod systems, but I'm not a fan of their tobaccos. Here's the thing. Is it a beauty? I've been waiting to say it, but beauty already beat me to it. Is that um, I already, like, I'm already set my ways. Now, somebody, uh, like, uh, who was it? Um, I think Easy just said that his daughter and her fiance got some uh, me pods and 
have been fucking around with it and haven't smoked in over a week. That's amazing. Super fucking awesome. Whenever somebody starts vaping and this is, you know, and I think Nick Salt's is a great way for people to jump into vaping. But for me, just like beauty said, um, I don't even remember how to mouth to lung hit. Like I did a video not that long ago for a fucking a tank and it's a single coil tank and like you can mouth to lung it. And I was like trying to mouth to lung and like people in my comments are like, you literally just took a fucking delayed lung hit. Like you didn't fucking, that's not a mouth to lung hit. And I'm like, I just don't remember how to do it. And so, and so for me, Nick salts are, have always just been really harsh. Like I'll take a fucking fat hit of it. And I just go like, Ooh, I feel sick to my stomach now. You know, it's like, it's like drinking soda. You, you pull it into your mouth first and then you swallow. So you pull it into your mouth, like you're sucking on a straw and then take an air inhale. Like afterwards, like, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to try right now. I'm going to try to fucking take a month. Along I've, nev I've never tried Nick salts ever. Really? I haven't tried it yet. I've never yeah, done it or anything. I'm just, you know, I, I didn't think that I would need it. But then I'm also curious to try it, just to try. But I've never done it. <laughs> I like the idea of super high nicotine. Yeah, I heard but then when I actually like do it, stronger. I don't. Uh, Remember when we went to the shop and they said, you just got to cut it down? Yeah. Because they are a lot stronger than normal. Yeah, fucking, um, I did smoke cigarettes. Yeah, somebody asked why I smoked cigarettes. Yeah, I did, but I still, like, it's been fucking years. Like, literally years and years and years since I smoked. So, I don't remember even, like, how to smoke. If I tried to smoke now, I would look like a 15-year-old who's, like, trying to look cool. I don't remember. I just tried to look, I just, I just tried to mouth along right now, and I, I'm honestly lost. Like, I, I keep trying to, like, just pull it in my mouth, but I just inhale it. I don't know. Whenever somebody's, like, learning how to vape, I always tell them this. Um, like, do you ever, you ever smoke pot? And they go, if they say like, yeah, because everybody has tried to smoke pot. It's like, it's just like pot. You just go straight into the lungs. You don't hold it in your mouth. You just go straight into the lungs. So like, I've been telling people that for so long, I don't remember how to fucking mouth the lung anymore. It's just too easy for me. It's built in. I can't do it. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Have ever tried a jewel before that, uh, isn't that Nick Salt wasn't a fan yeah, Jewel is Nick Salt, but it's a very high milligram Nick Salt. It it's is like hundred milligram, right? Uh, no, it's fifty-five. Mm. Uh, it's fifty-five milligram Nick Salt. It is very harsh. The the uh, the the pull, the draw is very restricted. Um, <clears throat> people have actually taken their pods and cut the plastic, the black plastic, in a little notch in order to up the airflow a open little, bit, little bit to open it up a little bit um <clears throat> to offset that the fix came out the fix is a fantastic pod system uh good great flavors for nick salts uh on their base flavors but again it's a high nick level with a very restricted airflow i honestly prefer the boulder because not only can you refill it with your own regular fucking you know e-liquids, but Nick salts work just fine with it as well. You uh, know what I do whenever I fuck with any of those pods and shit? I just carb it like with a little bit of air in my uh, out of the corner of my mouth to get a lung hit. Like I, I literally haven't taken a mouth to lung hit in years. Uh, somebody was saying, who was it? Chevy Man said it's a Rush Limbaugh talk radio. What? <laughs> I don't even understand that. Okay. Um, so let's, you know what, we got, we're getting close to an hour and a half. So, uh, there's like one more thing I wanted to talk about real quick. Um, some good YouTube channels for people who maybe don't have like a, a wide breadth of people that they watch. Um, like I got into this thing where, because I do YouTube, I kind of stopped watching YouTube vaping stuff. And uh, that's a really bad habit to get into. Um, <clears throat> and so I, like, I, I've been, been trying to reach out and like get back into YouTube stuff and um, watching some stuff I used to watch, uh, watching some, uh, some new stuff. Uh, one person that I really wanted to give a shout out to and, and that I wanted to uh, recommend to people is Felix Vapes, man. If you haven't watched Felix Vapes, uh, the guy is such a straight shooter. He is so yeah. fucking cool, man. He's like a real down to earth guy. No yep. drama kind of thing. Um, I, I, I got a lot of love for that guy. And so I've been watching a lot of him lately. I really, really think that if you haven't checked him out yet, go check him out and subscribe. Um, he's just a cool dude, man. He's a really he's cool, a cool dude. dude. He's a really yeah. cool dude. I hung out with him at Beauty, uh, Beauty's booth while he gave his vape story and a little bit afterwards as well. And uh, 
he, you know, he's no bullshit. You know, he's, yep. he's friends with literally everybody in, in in the vape community. You know, like if there's if there's one dude that you can trust, it's definitely Felix. He's such a normal, down to earth guy. That's all I've ever wanted with vaping. A lot of these vape guys that are like that have channels and shit. It's like they have this persona that goes along with it. And I've never been a big fan of that. What I want from YouTubers is them. That's what I want. I want you to be yourself. I don't want it to be like an act. I don't want it to be bullshit. I don't want you to be a drama queen on your channel. And then when I meet you in, in real life, you're a, a, a fucking normal person and shit. You know, like be who you are. Yeah. That's what I want to see. And so um, Felix, Felix lives like Felix lives like 30 minutes away from me. Actually, That's what's up. That's I hang out with him. Ventured in Orlando. It's so he's so much fun. Real genuine guy. Yeah. Hundred percent. Awesome. Awesome. I can't wait. I just can't. I can't wait to. I want to get him on the show. And that's that's like the next person I definitely want to get on here with us is Felix. I want to have him on and and because uh, he just seems like the kind of guy that would fit in great with us. You know. So um, stand up guy. I've been watching him a lot. Uh, his videos are fucking so amazing just love it um another person who was kind of like stopped doing youtube for a while and then came back i talked about him earlier in the show um i have a love-hate relationship with this guy uh, but it's a, a bloody good vaping his name's damien he's from the uk um he does mostly 99 percent of the stuff he does is uh, reviews of stuff i can't afford he does a lot of stabilized wood squonk mods and shit um a lot of european shit that we don't really get here in the states um but he's got a real interesting his channel is super interesting. Like he just has a really good view on things. Um, he's just, he's a funny guy, man. You know what I mean? Bloody good vape. He's a bloody good vapor. And um, he's got some, some opinions that I don't mesh with. He's got a fucking Facebook group where like, literally if you get caught vaping on a, on like a clone mod or like uh, take a picture of it and they like, even in the background or something, they will fucking make you like sing a song or they'll kick you out of the group and shit. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of shit like that that I, I'm like, really, you know, it is what it is. Um, even Vinegar thinks Damien is talented. Wow, we found somebody that uh, Vinegar likes. Plumes of Hazard that make you sing. Is it Plumes? Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think, Damien, I think Damien just kicks you out. I think he just kicks you out, yeah. Um, but which is, you know, here's the thing is that um, in this community, it's this isn't like this isn't like a game. It's like people's lives are literally at stake. I hate to be dramatic, but it's the truth. You know, people's lives are at stake. And you could be the one who, like, gets them to quit smoking and gets them to actually come over to vaping 100%. So uh, kind of pushing people out of that out of that space is kind of dangerous in my opinion. So that's my one, that's my one gripe I have with him. But I think that his channel is amazing. Uh, even if you never buy anything he talks about, I think you'll enjoy watching his videos. Yep. And um, another thing we just, Yeti just mentioned them is that um, Plumes of Hazards still does a show. Who knew? Uh, Monday nights. Yep. They're still on. They, they wow. still do the show. And they're, so they're still on uh, understudy. Uh, I've never watched is them. no longer uh, <laughs> on the show. Um, yeah, he pops on once in a while. Uh, it's definitely changed pace what it used to be, but you know, uh, none still- of those guys, none of those guys vape like I vape. Okay, but I'll put that right out there. Those guys are all very similar to like Damien from the UK. They vape a lot of fucking mouth to lung shit and a lot of that kind of stuff, which is fine. Um, but it's it's a it's like the first live show I can remember people doing about vaping on youtube so those are grown-up vapors travis <laughs> yeah yeah i was a kid you're right um <laughs> no, and, and that's kind of like how people like that look at people like me like mm, i'm such an adult with my 300 hundred dollar addy and my 700 hundred dollar mod and <laughs> i waited on a list for 60 days <laughs> lame lame like uh, you know here's 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 a sum up uh going back to damien's uh, buddy good vaping he did a review of an RDA, and at the end he said, the only way you can get this, you have to be a member of this group, you have to do a lotto, and then if you pick your number, then you have to pay him within three days. And it's like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, this isn't like, what am I, joining the CIA? Like, I don't understand. It's, a fucking, it's an atomizer. Man. Like, You're just winning a chance to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And it's like crazy. For like a single coil, little tiny RDA, they wanted, a, it was 140 pounds, which is like, what? Almost two hundred dollars US. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a dollar seventy five to the euro right now. So British pounds, it's roughly about a dollar eighty five 
per British pound. It's fucking crazy. That's so fucking crazy to me. It makes me so mad. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's some good shit that I watch. How about you guys? You guys watch anything interesting? I know what Panda watches. She's like in love with him. What? Who do you watch all the time? No, I, I watch Jay Hayes because he's drama and it's like watching a soap opera. <laughs> she's, got, she's got a fattest crush on Jay Hayes with his no, little. No, I do not at all have a crush <laughs> on him. Not one bit. It's I catch like, her watching him like in the middle of the night. I wake up and she's watching like, him and shit. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> like watching a drama soap opera. Like, he, if I want some drama in my life, I go to Jay Hayes. He's good for that. He's a drama queen. Yeah, he's, it's entertaining to see him look act, look like an asshole sometimes. So I watch him. Yeah, I ran, so in, I, ran, I ran into so Jay, ran into Jay at Foxwoods. You know, again, what he does on his channel and how he is in real life, it's pretty similar. He's kind of an ass, but at the same time. <laughs> He'll give you the time of day. He'll talk to you. He'll he'll shoot the shit with you. He's a good dude, but he's just very strong in his fucking stance and his opinions. But I, 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 I started if, watching his reviews because I felt like he was real honest about his reviews. He just, you know, some people can't handle his personality. That's just you. I, I liked it because it was like pure honesty this shit sucks <laughs> like and but some after a while it starts looking like he just don't like anything <laughs> you watch a lot of his reviews there's but some got, there's, go ahead Ryan. Who's big dog got up to go right here what was that <laughs> i said whose dick do i gotta suck to get a wrench here oh you want one <laughs> i got you brother i got you you already you already did it you already sucked that day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot him already. Dave Price, now a moderator for the channel. Boom. Done. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, uh, there's some channels that I feel like they, they, they do a lot of negative stuff because that's what their viewers want and they get a lot of attention. I'm not saying, I'm not saying Jay Hayes does that. I haven't watched no. enough Jay Hayes to make that determination. But there's like people like uh, what's uh, convicted what? vapes. Convicted vapes is the perfect example. Those guys are drama. That's what their whole their whole thing is is yeah. being negative, dude. Yeah. It's now I, I I you know as we know I've had my issues with Matty Ice and and them in the past and everything like that. But again, in person, knowing them outside of just their channel they're decent you know they're, yeah. they're they're decent people yeah i they're, mean they're basically doing what they do for views yep yeah. right which i'm not a, i'm not a huge fan of that but but yeah i mean that's what that's what it takes but everyone that's why I, why I have three thousand subscribers and they have thirty thousand subscribers that's a yeah difference, you know what i mean um <clears throat> but yeah so that's it's all good um people do that that's not what i do but um you know uh that's what that's what they built their whole brand around. And I fucking um, I started, you know, the reason why I started this channel, me and Josh started this channel was because of convicted vapes. We watched that shit and we thought if those fucking guys can do it, so can we. And uh, and we did. And, you know, um, but, pe but people are always going to like drama. That's just how humans yeah. are. They're yeah. attracted to drama and they want to see it. And. That's why they got a lot of subscribers and stuff like that because, I mean, humans are built to want drama in their life, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's like that because the the industry is too good, so people are kind of looking for the negative stuff. That's why it gets they just, too it's big. It's entertainment. Yeah, yeah. it just uh, that's just not my thing, but it is. It is what it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So why don't we look at some, unless anybody else has anybody they recommend and not just people we're talking shit. Um, you know, I mean, people like Leafa, uh, uh, Nikki B, you know, yeah. like all, all, everybody that's under 5,000 subs is who I mainly watch. You know, uh, one of the only builders that I really watch anymore. Um, you know, I mean, I'm friends with Yeti. I can fucking talk to Mike anytime about fucking coil building. 
but like Nick Devine, you know, Nick's Nick's become a great friend, and I I watch his videos only because he's actually still one of the only one that's putting out build tutorials on these crazy fucking coils, and I miss the days of like fucking Turk and Squid Dude and Twisted Messes and Twisted Messes right. and Dwayne putting out. You know, videos. putting out these build videos. That's why yeah. I watch um, Daily Vape TV. I love watching him because he does crazy like um, build Fridays and stuff like that. Twisted build Fridays, and he teaches you how to do crazy builds. Yep. Yeah. Sherlock Sherlock Holmes is another guy who does a YouTube yep. channel that uh, does builds, and I think that he's his production quality is really good. He's got yeah, like a lazy good. he's got like a lazy eye going on, but. Um, Sure, Besides Sherlock, that, when I look past this lazy eye, I think that he has pretty good content. So. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes has uh, has some g- great stuff. He definitely has some great stuff. But you know the lazy eye thing, because as soon as I said that, you started smiling. <laughs> he tries to hide it and shit, but he's it's it's there. <laughs> yet he w- yet he looks like he wants to say something. <laughs> um, I, I agree. Kenny B just said, uh, I don't understand how Life doesn't have 10,000 subs. He has great content. I think Life, out of everybody that I know, uh, produces like the most quality content, like, like as far as like fidelity of content. Like, he has such good, amazing uh, video, like uh, clarity and audio clarity. Much, too much reviewers out there. It's just yep. really hard to get subscribers now. It's just if you didn't come in earlier, you're you're really struggling to get subscribers. And even if you did come in earlier, because I like literally I've been doing this since 2014. And if you just didn't get that initial push and get that initial chunk of like 10 grand subscribers, it's really hard to make the make the climb now. Because I mean, I, I like when I look up something on YouTube. There's literally a hundred reviewers to each fucking device, so you know. <laughs> I think I know who Vinegar is now. Who? Oh. <laughs> After that last comment, you just that now figured guy, figured guy is probably <laughs> dragging life down. Hi, Giz. <laughs> uh, oh my God! Is it is. Giz? <laughs> it totally could be. Is show yourself. <laughs> um, I think I think Giz is a little more clever than that. Yeah. Um, I think I think life is gonna. I think life eventually will make a a, a, a okay. headway into YouTube, and I think that he will eventually get up there. But I think there there is definitely a ceiling now on on how much we can get. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's always more vapors every day. There's we'll a lot of people yeah. doing clickbait stuff where, you know, it's just it's a lot about your titles and it's just it's a lot about and a lot something, of we're, something we haven't really talked about, but it's true is there's a lot of people who just buy subscribers and buy views. This, that's a thing that happens on YouTube every fucking day is that people, you go to websites and you fucking type in, I want 10,000 subscribers and they, they will fucking, you can buy them. You buy them by the thousands. And shit. It's really, even with that, like you really, really, really have to be careful because a lot of the things are, you have to go to like the dark web to actually get an official like place where you can buy subscribers because I've noticed the ones that are, are just out there on the internet, you look them up and they end up taking over your YouTube or they, they, a lot um, of that's just scams. For they sure. give, yeah, they they give them to you, but then they take them back after like some like a week or whatever, and they're yeah, they're basically scams. Like there's a lot of a lot of people that go to like do. I saw some guy do a dark web investigation about it, and there is ways to buy it on a dark web. I I, talk, I started talking about I started talking about buying subscribers, and the Pico one said, "What happened to Jack off vapes? Is he still a thing?" <laughs> no, no. 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 No, he's busy being a cop. Yeah. <laughs> Jack uh no, Jack Jack became the um headlong keeper. No, no, no. He actually became, <laughs> he actually became one of the uh the head sergeants at his uh department. So he went from <laughs> security <laughs> officer <office laughs> to the fucking sergeant. So he was he was a security guard. He was never a cop. Really? He really. 
<laughs> let's let's not get into personal drama though. Okay. Um, <laughs> fucking cops pizza. And yes, I agree. Personal drama is fun. No, that's we were just talking shit about drama. Now we're getting into drama. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I think you know. Uh, there's there's not a lot of room left for reviewers, but I do miss uh, Beauty. I wish she would get back I, in the game. I, see, I disagree. I think there's. I think there's plenty of room for reviewers because I, I think I said this not too long ago um, and y'all were kind of touching on it. And, and I know that, that YouTube is swamped with a bunch of reviewers, but also YouTube is swamped with reviewers of all different kinds of things. Lawnmower reviewers, gun reviewers, sewing machine reviewers, dildo reviewers. I mean, there, there's everything. Um, the thing is, is that there could be, as many reviewers as possible, it, there's always, cause like, like with me, I watched everybody when I first got into it. Like now I've, I've fine tuned it down to a few. I mean, I still, I'll still watch certain people here and there, but usually the way it is, is that like what works with, the, with this guy, you know, he's not going to like this reviewer or that reviewer, you know, I think with each personality, you know, there's, there's going to be a person for that, that particular reviewer. You see what I'm saying? Like Mike Vapes might rub this guy the wrong way, but Jimbo John's Vapes is just right for him. You see what I'm saying? Yep. No, I agree. I mean, there, there is. But see, then, yeah, there, I agree. There's there is a ton of room because there's always going to be somebody who uh, who you appeal to, who who yeah, you have a similar right. train of thought to. So I think there is t definitely room, but like the amount of people you can get, there's never going to be, in my opinion, there's never going to be another Rip Trippers. Like Rip right. Trippers came in at a time where there was so little competition for him. And the fact that he came in with very good production values and over the top persona, it just made, it's made it big, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, and there's never going to be another one of those again. There's going to be tons of people around like Mike Vapes, like, like around hundred G. There's going to be tons of people in that level, but there's never going to be another fucking 2 million subscribers. So um, beauty in the vape. I'm glad that you like Jack and I, I, I'm so, you know what? That's good because I'm a hater and I just hate everybody. And so I'm, it's good to know there's people out there who actually do see the good in people because I just, I'm such a negative person. And it's easy to get into you that group. I'm not a negative person. I'm pretty negative. No, you're I not. never, I negative. never really minded Jack whatsoever. You know, he did, he, he did his thing. And whatever he did, to piss people off he did but what did he do i don't even know what he did i don't even remember what any of this is about honestly i think we're, we're going down a rabbit hole here yeah exactly so yeah. we'll just watch it but yeah no no <laughs> jack has never done me any wrong so again me neither ask judgment me neither honestly i just like to shit talk that's it we'll talk about it off camera <laughs> um okay I, I stand corrected is that um Whoops. Uh, uh, Train Sonic said Donnie smokes on pace to blow by everyone, unfortunately. Uh, that is super true. Um, what do you got there? That's made out of toast. Oh, wow. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> and Jesus it's fucking, toast. yeah, dude, it's made, it's like fucking, uh, it's like a 12 foot tall picture. Oh, wow. That's fucking badass. It's like, yeah, it's like 12 foot by four foot wide. Damn. And it's all toast. <laughs> Oh my god! I'll eat the shit out of that. So, <laughs> beauty. I've, I've never said anything but great things about you because I love beauty and the vape. Um, well, I mean, to be behind her back, you'd really have to be like laying on the floor, though. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. So, what was I gonna say though? Oh yeah. So about Donnie Smokes. Uh, if you guys don't know, who Donnie Smokes is this, this young kid. Um, he's not. He's not like fucking fifteen or anything. He's. Uh, uh, allegedly he's of age. I have no drama with this kid. He has in the last six months blown up in a huge amount. If you type in vaping into YouTube, he's like the first person who pops up. Um, yeah, but his YouTube channel got shut down though. No way. Yep. Let me see. He's got a different one now. Yeah, they got it shut down. Like, I don't know how that kid blew up so fat. Like, um, uh, um, was, go back and watch it, No Fucks. Go back and watch No Flux Vaping from this week, and you'll find out. Okay. It's on my channel. Okay. I'll go check it out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's the, like, that's the closest to, like, a Rip Trippers size that I've seen recently um, because there's just so many available. I think everybody's fine-tuning on who they watch 
you don't you're not forced to watch certain people anymore you know like back in the day you you had three choices you watched fucking rip trippers and grim green and i get you 69 or that other dude uh, <clears throat> the stoner what's his name uh, the weirdo in in our smokers yeah oh that, yeah fuck yeah he uh, watched him all the time i used to watch him all the time can't stand yep. that motherfucker no, nah, me neither. You want to talk about a fucking <laughs> lame? That motherfucker's a lame, dude. I like him. You like See, everybody. And that, and that proves my point right there. You know, what doesn't work for one person works great for another. It's true. Mm. I still go back. I, I watch all of his, um, what is it, the end of the year where he goes and talks about his favorite devices and shit of the year. Um, just so I can laugh at it. Like, I'm like, this, seriously? That's what you got? And it's, like, the juices he likes and shit are just comical. So it's funny. Yeah. Okay, we're getting into some serious drama now. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. talking All shit. Right. All right. Let's look at some coils and then get the fuck out of here. I don't know why I fucking, I talk shit about shit talkers and then I start talking shit. My <laughs> bad. It will never happen again. I apologize, honestly. That is, a, that is straight from the heart. I do not like to talk shit about people. Um, send all emails. <laughs> yes. Send all emails to overdosedavesyada.com. Honestly, pick, a, pick some beef with me. I am uh, totally okay with that. All right, share my screen. Let's do it. <laughs> what can make it happen? Oh, who's that pretty girl? <laughs> I'll cover her up. I'll cover her up with coils. <laughs> so this is from Doug. Uh, at, he's D, D underscore fresh underscore AF on Instagram. Some clean ass aliens right there. That really sticks in my craw, I tell you. <laughs> No, I'm actually getting. I mean, I'm getting it. I'm actually getting it. And, I, and I'm I'm gonna order. Um, I'm gonna order a thousand feet of uh, 32 gauge night chrome tonight, and I'm gonna fucking just bang them out. That's beautiful, though. That's a really good job and excellent photography as well. Looks like the twisted, the new twisted messes. Is that what that is? Uh, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Another angle. Very well done. Yeah, even when I do get aliens right, they're never super clean like that. So I got a lot of work to go. But it comes in time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm still waiting too. I just want to be able to bust them out consistently, like every single time I make them. I'm I'm still not there yet, but I'll get there. It's beautiful, very well done. Single coil fits in with the theme of tonight's show, and a nice barrel shot. I love barrel shots. He's got a good camera on him. Okay. Now we're going to go to Juan Castillo with his late entries. I think he said these are all frame staples. Yep. Staple. 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 <clears throat> I love the way that he fucking pinches his leads at the bottom. Awesome. Yep. Don Juan, Juan coils. Don Juan coils. <laughs> Don Juan coils, baby. I'm still waiting for my coils from Don Juan. From Don Don Juan. Don Juan. Yeah, what's up, Juan? Hook us up with some of fatty aliens, baby. Juan should start like a a a, a company for for alcoholic beverages and puts his coil <laughs> under the cap. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here's some shitty pictures that I took, uh, but this is like the first, the closest to a good alien that I made. It's not the first alien, you know, it's not true, but after my little block, my mental block I was having with making aliens, this is the first one that I got uh, where I felt like, okay, I built an alien. I put it on Instagram, everybody was very proud of me. Even, even Rye was like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> and here's after I installed it. That's awesome. Some color on it. And here's something I built that uh, I liked, I, you know, this is in that single coil ghoul RDA. And this is a, uh, like a wavy clap and twisted 24 gauge and you clapped in it and it comes out looking really cool. I just like the way it looks. Those things look awesome. Not the, I mean, they don't vape super good. Twisted wire to me never vaped very good. Cause it's got, it just fucks up your ramp up time. Okay. This thing's gonna be satanic. All day vape. Tyler, got some aliens here. They're clean as fuck, too, actually. They're really nice. Very nice. 
he fucking with his email. He's like, yeah, I busted these out on my first my first try. Sorry, Travis. Like straight, <laughs> just rubbing it in my face. In case you weren't feeling bad enough. Oh, right? like like, like uh, some of the monstrosities I pull out of my drill lately, and everybody just wants to rub it in my face. It's funny because like we're seeing a lot of aliens the last couple of weeks. People sending in just straight fucking kicking me and kicking me when I'm down. <laughs> I get it. I'm the only one who can't do it. Thank you. <laughs> Here's what Yeti sent me. I was kind enough to not send in an alien. I know. Thank you. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, six in the middle there. Probably, yeah. Was that flat wire in the middle? Ooh, Yeti got yeah. naked. Nice. Yeah, it's naked uh, staple. Nice. like it. That's a fucking vapor right there, baby. All right. And we got some from Zach. This is the boy who needs to go to the overpowered mod code because he needs a 30 millimeter mod. There's a caged Clapton. Caged fused Clapton. I've never been able to do the caged thing. I never even really, really tried a lot. I tried once and I it was a fucking mess. So I never I just stopped trying. I like the way those look a lot though. Yeah, they look they look, cool. they look neat. They're fun to make. Yeah. They look badass. And here's just a stack of old four fucking fuse captains in a 30 milli. This boy likes to vape, old Zach. All right, but that's what we got for tonight. Ride was not nice enough to send in uh, his coils. <laughs> We're not fucking good enough for him. <laughs> um, I tell you what, though, speaking of overpowered mod co, um, They've been liking a lot of my pictures on Facebook or on uh, Instagram. And so, uh, cause I commented on one of their videos or one of their, one of their posts. I said, Hey, me and my boy Yeti, you got our eyes on your, on your mods. And we talk about them all the time on the channel. So, uh, if you guys are watching me and Yeti are definitely open to trying them out and, uh, promoting them on the channel. Hash two, everybody. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Panda wants one. Yeah, I'll fucking, I've been I'll talking to him quite a bit. Send us a fucking case of mods and we'll fucking, uh, we'll try them out. Promote them, and we'll even do a giveaway. <laughs> and I'll I'll win that giveaway. All right, now, I'm, I'm really I'm there. anything mods, coils, cotton, RDAs. <laughs> they're RDAs. really <laughs> they're really pushing that, that black one. Yeah, I, I like the I like the copper one. I like the, the copper one. Great copper one. I love the naked that. copper. Yeah, me too. I'm all about that copper one. Um, I, I think the black one does look good, but like you're right, that's all they ever post is pictures of that black one. Yeah, um, which is nice. It's a really nice coat on it, but it's nice, man. That, I'm all about that copper. So, all right, so we're gonna get out of here. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We had a good show till the end when I started fucking talking shit about everybody. <laughs> oh god. All right. Well, anyways, um, I want to thank all you guys for watching. I want to thank everybody who joined us on the panel. We got Hesh. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. You go check him out. There's a link on uh, the Overdose Vapes uh, YouTube channel. You can go follow that link directly to him. Uh, same with Panda. You can find her via my channel. Um, vape Rye is Vape underscore Rye on Instagram. If you want to look at some fucking next level coils. Hashtag also, go to my cool. other channel, Panda Girl Fashion, with G-U-R-L for girl. If you want to oh. see some girly stuff. I think there's literally one girl watching this show right now. I don't care. Guys like <laughs> talk girly stuff too. They do. She she's good in her bra that's, during a couple of those videos, so go check That's out. not true. Scott's out there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and, and, and Vinny Girl's out there too. He likes pickles. <laughs> I got some bra shots. <laughs> Yeah, all you perverts out there. All right, um, and then, yeah, so also Yeti's Uncle, you can check him out uh, on Instagram, and also go to www.yetiwire.com and get yourself some of them beautiful, beautiful artisanal coils. For and uh, It's, it's always price. Black Friday at Yeti Wire. You yeah. said that with so much enthusiasm. It's always I mean, Black seriously, those, 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 90 gauge, those 90 gauge aliens. Are Coming like soon. Coming soon, 94 gauge aliens and fralians. Ow, shit. <laughs> Here's a. Uh, ow, fuck that fucking cap. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a frame staple. It's all in 90. Nice. <laughs> ribbon, ribbon, frames, and wrap. 
Damn. <laughs> That's why I can't touch the fucking cat. Yeah, that'll get fucking hot. Motherfucker. Um, also, yeah, go check out Adore E-Liquid, uh, where uh, you get yourself some really delicious e-liquid. They got something for everybody. Yeah. Uh, Everything from your pure fruits to your goddamn desserts, they got you covered. And the only banana liquid on the market that's worth vaping, you can find it over at Adore Liquid. And if, bondage. You, if you're also into DIY, pick up some of Don's concentrates. You know, they mm-hmm. are fucking bomb. Really? I, I never DIY'd until I got Don's concentrates. And you know what? It's It saves me money. And it's amazing flavors from one of the best people that bends over backwards for this fucking community. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you want to promote to Don. If you want to fucking promote a good member of our community, if you want to like help somebody out who deserves it, go make a fucking purchase at Adori Liquid because that woman does so much for you guys you don't even know. So, um, yeah. So okay. So Adori Liquid. Also go check out uh, Omegan E Liquid, another good fucking friend of the channel, um, and and some very very interesting E Liquids. Um, some very adult e-liquids, I would say. You know, things like Leviathan, um, I think, are for a more mature palate. So, yep. uh, yeah, so go check them out. Um, also, check out all of our friends and family, everybody else I didn't mention, but we've mentioned in the past. We cool. haven't forgotten about you. Uh, what was that? Coilvapes.com. Coil Vapes. I'm actually going to get to try it. I'm so excited. So excited and for that. All of those people that we had just forementioned uh, use coupon code Pink Pussy. Uh, they are all part of the Pink Pussy Brigade. Uh, there's actually a list, pinkpussylist.com. Leafa just put it up. Everybody who's on the fucking Pink Pussy list. So, what about yep. Purple Pussy? That's almost. Uh, that's a thing. I mean, that's a thing. That, 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 Some women blue, have purple pussies, so. Yeah, but that's almost blue waffle territory. So we're we're just gonna keep it nice and pink and tight. <laughs> Somebody just called you a flat earther, Ash. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know for a fact that the Earth is round. Fuck, fuck flat earthers. Don't, don't, don't let him fucking don't let him lie to you. He fucking was just spouting off that flat that flat Earth shit right before the show. So. <laughs> He's like, man, the fucking fake the moon landing and fucking. Uh, they never actually launch anything into space. It's just a window up there. How can uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is the Truman Show in Hesh's world. Exactly. All right. Oh, well, well, thank you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out and uh, have a good week. Bye. Bye. I gotta actually turn it off.